thought I'd make a little show and tell of the innards of my Mac Nintendo. See if I can catch it here. Here is the innards. As you can see, I removed the screen and instead put in a little uh, LS LCD TV that I bought from China. Um, it's not very well attached to the screen or, or to the Mac, as you can see. It's I'm, I'm kind of looking at a better way to actually attach it rather than just with silver tape. But the problem is that underneath here is a bunch of metal that would take a lot of work to to uh, actually remove. So I just bent it a little bit to get the screen to fit where it is. And then um, and it works for playing, but if it's going to look real pretty in the future, I'd like to make it a little better. Then it is hooked up to the uh, Raspberry Pi right here, running uh, um, the Debian release from, the, from um, Debian 6 and with uh, that I have it hooked up composite video into the screen and uh, from the regular Raspberry Pi sound output to into the screen as well and uh, a USB hub which is necessary, it has to be a powered USB hub to actually power these and these are the uh, Nintendo USB adapters. So one end of them goes into the USB hub, the other end actually runs through here. This is the regular old NES controllers that I had and they just run out in the back. As you can see this Mac was in some sort of horrible sticky accident and that's why it died. So I just cleaned out some of it but left some of the crap underneath. Maybe I'll get around to cleaning it later. And uh, all of this put together uh, is running uh, emulation station as part of the RetroPie setup and looking really close here you can I don't know if you can see because it's kind of blurry but this uh, edge here around the screen is actually not that pretty and uh, maybe I'll get around to making a cardboard uh, edge bezel for it to see to see if I can make it look better but it works and uh, I can uh, with the controller I can uh, choose game and uh, start the game and uh, just play it with my regular controllers and I have uh, both controllers work so I have two if you want a two player game you can play two player game and uh, the neat thing is that it works pretty much just like the original NES the feeling is there the sound as usual with Raspberry Pi is not the greatest it's it's okay but uh, I'll see if I can tweak it a little better I think there's a problem with the emulation and the sound card actually but playing it uh, works just like you would you know a normal a normal uh, NES controller, no problems, and it runs at pretty much full speed. At least I haven't really noticed anything uh, that would make it uh, feel slow. And uh, I've got a lot of games in here. Uh, a lot of them are not very good, but a lot of them are quite fun actually. So that's uh, that's my little little build. I'll I'll put it together after I shut this down. It's it's a pain to open somehow. It got a little sticky around the edges here, so I'll try not to open it too much.